with Shabbos, finally back upstairs in front of my mother's needle-pointed Chagall windows for Shabbat service for the Hebrew home. Hope you've had a good holiday season of the fall holidays, and now starting the Torah over with Bereshit Genesis at the beginning. We'll start with Mode Ani on page 61, thanking God for waking up today. Mode Ani Lefanecha Melechai Vekayam Shechezarta Binishmati Vechemla Vechemla Rabba Emunatecha Rabba Emunatecha we have this prayer book on to page 63 for the gift of our soul, second paragraph in the English. The soul that you, my God, have given me is pure. You created it, you formed it, you breathed it into me. You keep body and soul together. One day you will take my soul from me to restore it to me in life to eternal. So long as the soul is within me, I acknowledge you, Adonai, my God, my ancestors, God, master of all creation, sovereign of all souls. Praise to you, Adonai, who restores the soul to lifeless, exhausted body. 65, for the blessings of the morning, praising God for our ability to function, all the basic tasks of getting up and being able to live each day. Baruch atarina elohinu melech olam asher natan lasech vino alochim en yuvei laila. Baruch atarina elohinu melech olam shasani b'tzomo. Baruch atarina elohinu melech olam shasani Yisrael. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam shasani ben chorin. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam pokeach ivrim. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam malbi sharumim. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam matira surim. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam zokei kevufim. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam rakarat alamayim. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam shasali kol tzorki. Baruch atano elohinu melech olam hamechin mitzadei gaver. Baruch atanai Elohim Melech Olam, Ose Yisrael Bigvura. Baruch atanai Elohim Melech Olam, Ose Yisrael Betifara. Baruch atanai Elohim Melech Olam, Hanotein Laya Eif Koach. Flip it, please, to page 72. We'll do the song for Shabbat in the English. Page 72. It's good to acclaim and annoy, to sing your praise, exalted God, to affirm your love each morning and your faithfulness each night to the music of the lute, and the melody of the harp. Your works, Adonai, make me glad. I sing with joy of your creation. How vast your works, Adonai, your designs are beyond our grasp. The thoughtless cannot comprehend, the foolish cannot fathom this. The wicked may flourish, spring up like grass, but their doom is sealed for you, are supreme forever. Your enemies, Adonai, your enemies shall perish. All the wicked shall crumble. But me you have greatly exalted. I'm anointed with fragrant oil. I have seen the downfall of my foes. I have heard the despair of my attackers. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall grow tall like a cedar in Lebanon. Plant in the house of Adonai. They will thrive in the courts of our God. They shall bear fruit even in old age. They shall be ever fresh and fragrant to proclaim. Adonai is just my rock in whom there is no flaw. Odium v'seva d'shenim v'anim yiu lagi ki yashar Adonai. Suri Tabo Page 81. Psalm 30, page 81. Mizmor Shir Chanukah Tabayat Lidavid. Ah, fuck the Mispidi Lamachali Pitak the Sakiva to Azraini Simcha. Lamanja mechal valoi dom maranoi alohai leolam odeka. We're on to page 83 for Baruch Sha'amar, praising God's creative power, as we can also sometimes create by word. Baruch Sha'amar vayaholam baruchu, Baruch o severeshit, Baruch o merviosa, Baruch o zirmekayem, Baruch merachem alaret. Baruch mirachem al habriot, Baruch mishalem sachar tov l'reav, Baruch alad v'kayam l'netzach, Baruch podeu matzil, Baruch shemo.
Yachid Chayola mi Melech Meshibachum Faradei Atshma HaGadol Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Mulal Batish Bachot. Make the regular skip that we do at Ringhouse. We'll go on to page 96, silently Hebrew or English. Ashrei, page 96 and 97 at the top. Ashrei Yoshvei Vetechod Yalucha Sela. Tehilat adonai daber pi vivarech kol basar shem kodcha lelam va'ed v'anachnen avarech yach me'atav yad olam hallelujah. Go to page ninety nine English side. Uh, don't know what it's like on Shabbat and that's actually you're playing this, but right now it's gorgeous out. So we'll do a nature psalm, Psalm ninety nine. Page ninety nine for Psalm one forty eight. Hallelujah! Praise adonai from the heavens. Praise God, angels on high. Praise God, sun and moon, all shining stars. Praise God, highest heavens. For them all praise and annoy his glory, whose command they were created, at whose de decree they endure forever, and by whose laws nature abides. Praise and annoy all who share the earth, all sea monsters and ocean depths, fire and hail, snow and smoke, storms that obey God's command. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, all beasts wild and tame, creeping creatures, winged birds, earthly rulers, all the nations, officers and mortal judges, men and women, young and old, that all praise the glory of Adonai, for God alone is sublime, more magnificent than the earth and the heavens. God has exalted God's people's fame for the glory of all the faithful. God has exalted the people Israel, people drawn close to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Page 100, three lines from the end of Psalm 150, seven lines from the bottom of page 100. The end of Psalm 150, praise God with symbols, praise God with symbols, praise God with breath. Hallelujah, hallelujah, let's see, let's shama. Hallelujah, hallelujah, let's see, let's Kohaneshama te hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kohaneshama te hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're on to 105, our last skip. Let's begin the Shacharit with Shulchein Ad on Shabbat the Chazan begins here, middle of 105. <clears throat> Shochen ad marom vekado shemo vechatu vranu tzadikim baranoi la yesharim navati la befishrim titalal uvedivrei tzadikim titbarach uvilshon chasidim titromam uvekerav kedoshim titkadash vamakalot revivot amcha beit Yisrael. Lahodot la le le shabayach, le poel ramem la de la orech le le ule kales, al kol divrei shirot vetish bechot, David ben ishai, avdecha meshichecha. 106, let's go to the English and do the first five lines in the English. You shall ever be praised in heaven and on earth, our sovereign, the great and holy God. Songs of praise and psalms of adoration become you our God and God of our ancestors, praises that acknowledge your grandeur, your glory. Berachot v'odo me'ata v'yad olam baruch atad anoi, el melech gadol batish pachot, el ha'odot adon aniflod, ha'boche b'shirei zimra, melech el chei ha'olamim. We'll have to skip over half Kaddish and Borachu since we don't have a visible minion. Line 3 on page 107, the creation blessing begins. Baruch atanana melech olam yotzer avorei choshech, oseh shalom, 
Continue silently 107. Epes pilte chagar lenu limot ha-mashiach V'yein do melech ha-moshienu Leit chiat ha-metim We're on 108 for El Adon. Why do we spend so much time singing about God's creative power? This creates a sense of awe, a sense of wonder, a sense of gratitude for the magnificence of creation that we should never take for granted. So it's a good place also to start the service at the beginning with a sense of humility for the awesome nature of being able to be part of the universe. 108. <laughs> Da tu tuna sova vimoto, Hamitko el chayota kodesh, Venedor bechavor al hamer kava, Zichutu mishor leaf ne chiso, Chesed verachamim leaf ne chavodo, Tovim orocha barra eloheinu, Yitzaram bedat, Bevino paskel. Koach ugvura natan bahem, liyahod moshlim bekerab tevel. Malayim zivo mafikim noga, noe zivam bechol haolam. Samechim betzetam besasim bevoam, osim beem aritzon konam. Peer vechavod, no nim lishmot sahalavarina, lezechem alchuto. Kara la shemesh, vayizrach ora avahikim, turad halavana. Shevach no nimlo, kolat sevamarum, ti feret u gidula, serafim vi alfanim vechayot hakodesh. On to 109, to the first paragraph together in the English 109. To God who completed the work of creation on the seventh day and ascended God's throne of glory, glorious throne. God robed the day of rest and beauty, calling Shabbat a delight. God ceased all God's labors on Shabbat. That is its distinction. The seventh day itself praises God. A song for Shabbat is good to acclaim Adonai. Silently, middle of 110, 109 onto 110. Page 110, end of the top paragraph. Behulam pochim et pihem vikdushav tara, vishira o vizimra, um varachim, um shabachim, um farim, um maritzi, um akdishim, um mamlichim, et shema el ha melech, hagadol hagibor vano rakadoshu. Lactis the Otsram Venachat Ruach, Besafav Ravani Market Osha, Kulam Kiachad on in the Omrim Beira, Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tsevaot, Melocholaret Kivodo. Bofanim Vechayota Kodesh, Berash Gadol, Mitnasim Liumat Serafim, Liumata Mishabachim Ve Omrim. Baruch kevad adonai mimekamo. Leo baruch mim otem lechad hayam. Bottom of 110. Or chadash al tzion ta'ir. Or chadash al tzion ta'ir. V'nizkeh hulanu mehera leoro. Mehera leoro. Baruch atadonai. Yotzer HaMe'orot 111, it's our page, top paragraph in the English, the first part of the benediction, praising God for the gift of Torah, expressing God's love. Deep is your love for us, Adonai our God, boundless your tender compassion. Avinu Malkeinu, you taught our ancestors life-giving laws, they trusted in you, for their sake graciously teach us. Our Maker, merciful provider, show us mercy. 
Grant us discernment and understanding. Then will we heed your to study your Torah, heed its words, teach its precepts, follow its instruction, lovingly fulfilling all its teachings. Seven lines from the bottom on the Hebrew side of 111, by the box, gather us from the four corners of the earth. Ve'avienu l'shalom me'arba konfotaretz v'tolichenu komamiyut komamiyut le'artzenu ki el poel Yeshua data uvanu v'charta mikolam v'lashon v'keraptanu Leshimcha Hagadol Sela Behemet Lehodo Lecha Uleyachedcha Uleyachedcha Biahava Baruch Atadonai Abocher Beamo Yisrael Biahava 112 for Shaman Biahavta Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad V'yahavta et Adonai Elohecha V'chol levavcha v'chol nafshecha V'chol meodecha V'hayu Hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha Hayom alevavecha Veshinantam levanecha Vidibarta bam Veshivtecha bevetecha Uvelechtecha vaderech Uveshokbecha vekumecha Ukshartam laot al yadecha Vehayu letotafot veneinecha Uchtav tam al mezuzot beitecha uvisharecha. Please continue the bottom paragraph on 112 about our accountability for what we say and do. The top of 113, praising God for having mitzvot of ritual to give sublime connection to the holiness of life. Adonai Elohechem Emet. Middle 113, we'll take the five stanzas in the middle of the page in the English side, in the English. Your teaching is true and enduring. Your words are established forever. Awesome and revered are they, unceasingly right. Well ordered are they, always acceptable. Their eloquent, majestic, and pleasant are precious, everlasting legacy. True it is that the eternal God is our sovereign. The God, rock of Jacob is our protecting shield. God is eternal and eternally glorious, our God for all generations. God's sovereign throne is firmly established. God's faithfulness endures for all time. Ezra Tavotenu Atahu Meolam. Middle of one fourteen for Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha Boy me kamocha ne darba kodesh no ratilot o sefele shira kharasha shibakhug ulim lishim khalsafatayam yakhad kulam hoduvim likhu viamru adonai imlokh leolam va ed 
Tzor Yisrael, Kuma Be'ezrat Yisrael, Ufadei Chinumecha Yehuda Ve'Yisrael. Go Aleinu Adonai Tzivot Shemo, Kiddosh Yisrael, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ga'al Yisrael. We're now ready to begin the morning Amida on 115a. First time in a long time, no special insertions, although we now are saying Mashiva Ruach Umarid Agashem, praying for rain in Israel. And we're on 115a for Avot, the ancestors, Gurot, God's loving powers, and a line of Kedusha, God's holiness. Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Ha'el HaGadol, HaGibor Vahanora, El Elyon, Gol Melech HaSadim Tovim Vekonei Hako, Bezocher Chaste Avod, Umevi Goel Livnei Veneihem, Leman Shemo Be'ahava, Melech Ozeru Moshia Umagen, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Avraham, Ata Gibor Le Lam Adonai, Mechayi Meitim Ata Rav Le Hoshia, Mashiv Haruach, Umorid Hagashem, Mechalkel Chayim Bechesed, Mechayi Meitim Berachamim Rabim, So Mech Noflim Berofei Cholim, Umatir Asurim, Umekaye memunato li shene afar mi chamo chabala givurot umi domehalach melech me mit umekaye umats meach yeshua beneman atala chayot metim baruch ata adonai mechaye ha metim Ata Kadosh, the Shimcha Kadosh, Ugroshim Bechol Yom Yalu Chasela, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ha'el Ha'Kadosh. Please continue, Sal, the rest of the Amida, 117 through 120, page 120, or just your own personal prayers of conscience and of talking to God. Ose shalom bim roma, huya ase shalom aleinu, ve ala kola yisrael, ve imru imru amen. Yase shalom, yase shalom, 
Shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael. Yase shalom. Yase shalom. Shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael. So we have a Torah. We're not going to do Torah service. Maybe something at the end of the Torah service just to put in a melody, though. At this point in time, though, we're going to go to the Torah reading, which, as I said at the beginning this week, is Breshit story of Genesis, the beginning of the Bible, chapters 1 through 5 normally in a full Torah reading, first story of creation in seven days, second story of creation, the Garden of Eden story, then the story of Cain and Abel, and finally the genealogies of the descendants of Adam at the end of the full portion. The section that we're going to read, though, is Genesis chapter 2, beginning at verse 16, until the end of the chapter, almost the end of the chapter, end of, till the end of the chapter, and uh, deals with the command not to eat from the tree of knowledge, because then you'll die, that has to be the much bar Torah, and then the creation of Eve in the second story of creation as a helpmate for Adam, and what that means in terms of loving relationship and partnership between man and woman. So, Torah reading in this Red Chumash Eitz Chaim. It's page 15, if you don't have Eitz Chaim. Genesis chapter 2, verse 16. By its of Adonai Elohim al Adam lemor, mikol eit hagan achol tel cheel ume eitz, hadato vara lo tochal mimenu ki, viyom achal cha mimenu mot tuamut. Vayomer Adonai Elohim lo tov heyot adam levado esel lo ezer kenegdo vayitzer Adonai Elohim min haadama kol chayar asadet vechet kol oh hashamayim vayve el ha adam lirot mayikra lo vechol hashikra lo haadam nefesh chaya hu shemo vayikra haadam shemo lechol abema lechol oh hashamayim ולכל חיית השדה ולאדם לא מצא עזר כנגדו. ויפל אדוני אלוהים תרדמה על האדם וישן ויקח אחת מצל אותיו ויסגור בשר תחתנה ויבן אדוני אלוהים את הצלע אשר לקח מן האדם לאישה ויביאה אל האדם ויאמר האדם זאת הפעם, עצם מעט סמי ובשר מבשרי, לזאת יקרא אישה כי מאיש לוקחה זאת. על כן יעזב איש את אביו ואת אמו, ודבק באשתו ויהיו לבשר אחד. ויהיו שניהם ערומים, אדם ואשתו, ולא יתבוששו. And the Haftarah is not the regular Bereshit Haftarah this week, because tomorrow is the beginning of the month of Cheshvan. So our Haftarah is Mar Har Chodesh, the wonderful friendship story of Jonathan, King Saul's son, next in line apparently for the kingship, and King David, who has probably already been appointed to be the next king of Israel. And Jonathan is this wonderful hero, selfless, devoted to his friend, ethical, courageous, and here in this wonderful story, Saul is in his psychotic paranoia, perhaps, which is in some ways legitimate, thinks about trying to kill David. And a test is set up between Jonathan and David. If there's danger, he's going to shoot arrows long and tell the boy that goes to gather them, they're, they're long, keep going. And that will be the sign to David at the end of the Haftarah that it is not safe. And of course, it turns out not to be safe. Saul is so infuriated that he almost even, he throws a spear at Jonathan in his anger of wanting to get rid of David. So he's right to want to continue the line, but his own paranoia is his own downfall. So we're going to do the beginning where the, the sign is set up, and we'll do the very end where they come back together and the friendship is renewed. And David actually takes care of his son afterward. Maybe political consideration, but it'll be just pure devotion of appreciation for how Jonathan saved his life. Uh, it's first book of Samuel, chapter 20, at verse 18. In this red chumash, it's on page 1216. 1216. 
Veshilash tag te raid, me oru vatel hamakom, sheni start the sham beyom hamase, the yashap ta etzela even ha azel. Vani shalosh erachitim sida ore, the shalach li la matara, in eshlach et ana ar lech mitzata chitim, imomar omar la nar, in e hachitim im chava hena, kachenu vavoa, kishalom lechavi in davar chayarinoi. In Kamar la Elam in Achitzim im Chava Hala, Lech Kishilacha Adonai. The Hard of our Lodi Barno Aniva Atta, Hine Adonai, Benu Vencha Ad Olam. Verse 40 near the end. Vaitain Yonatan at Kela, Elanar Sherlo, Vayomer lo Lech Have Hair, Vanar Babidavid. Kame etzel ha negev, vaipola pav arza, vaishtahu, shlosha pe amim, vaishku ish et re ehu, vaiku ish et re ehu, ki david a david hig deal, vayo mer yehona tan le david lech le shalom, asher, nishbanu shene nu anachnu, beshem aranoi le mor aranoi, ye benu venecho ven zari. Ad olam. I forgot to mention that why this haftarah? Because the first line is, tomorrow will be the new moon, and tomorrow will be the new moon of Cheshman. Do Mishaberach now, prayer for those who are sick. Debbie Friedman, first stanza, take names, then the second stanza. Mishaberach avoteinu, mekor habracha leimoteinu. May the source of strength, who bless the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing, and let us say, Amen. Please recite any names that need God's blessing of healing at this time. Second stanza. Mishabe Mekor habracha le'avoteinu. Bless those in need of healing with refuah shalema. The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit. And let us say, Amen. Short of our Torah. As indicated before, we have the story of the Garden of Eden with the eating of the fruit of the tree of knowledge, which leads to a death sentence for Adam and for all mankind. Uh, it's an etymological story of why don't we live forever, and also a story of our inability to sometimes do what we know is right, what has been mandated for us to do, still to go against the divine will, against the ethics of whatever our traditions have taught us. And so, it's thinking about, maybe though, it's not a curse to be, to have a, death to be a reality of life. Maybe it's also in many ways a kind of a blessing. Ernest Becker in his masterwork, The Nile of Death, says that even though we know we're all going to die, on some level we don't believe it's true. Becker's work is important. He says that our obsession with not dying sometimes gets in our way of living life fully. We're so focused on outlasting, of outplaying death, we do amazingly selfish things. Becker calls this the immortality syndromes, non-rational belief structures that help us have the fantasy we're going to be immortal. For example, some people try to buy immortality by acquiring possessions and wealth as if those things could protect us from death. We take on heroic roles in business or of our house homes. We think that if we make ourselves indispensable, death won't touch us. I can't die this week because I have a sales meeting on Thursday. Judaism, though, offers a different approach to death and to life. Rather than deny death, Judaism instructs us to embrace it. We should live each day as if it is going to be our last, because it might actually be so. Imagine as God does in this portion, if a human being directed all their energy, not to focus on dying, but the sacred goal of truly living. How would you fill each moment of every day if you knew and understood You'll never get that moment back once it has passed. The psalmist said in Psalm 90, Our life is 70 or 80 years given the strength. 
So teach us to count our days rightly. We may attain a heart of wisdom. Rise person, our tradition teaches, counts every day, makes each day count. Knowing our days are numbered helps us clarify our priorities and purposes. Our most precious thing is not money or possessions. You can always get more of those. Our most precious and finite possession is what we do with our time. Henry David Thoreau, the poet, wrote, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately. I want to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life, to put to rout all that was not life, and not when I come to die discover that I actually had not lived. When Adam and Eve are kicked out of the garden, the Torah records the first thing they do. And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she bore him a son. They have a child. The very realization of, I'm not going to go on forever, is answered with our fruitful attempt at immortality to have progeny. So a final question remains. Where is the true paradise? Is it in the Garden of Eden where no one ever dies and time is limitless? Or is it east of Eden, outside the garden, where every moment is precious, every decision is life-changing, and the fruit sometimes bitter, compels us to appreciate the sweetness of life. That to Rabbi, from Rabbi Dan Moskowitz. We go to our concluding prayers. We bench Rosh Chodesh today, as indicated by the Haftarah. Tomorrow and Monday are the new moon of Cheshvan, the only month without holidays. God must have planned it so that rabbis and synagogue leaders, especially cantors, have a month to bounce back after Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. So we're on 150 if you're using this prayer book, pronouncing the new moon, Birkat HaChodesh, to the first paragraph in the English. May it be your will, Anar God and God of our ancestors, to reawaken in us blessing in the month ahead. Grant us a long life, a peaceful life with goodness and blessing, sustenance and physical vitality, life of reverence and piety, a life free from shame and reproach, a life of abundance and honor, reverent life guarded, guarded by the love of Torah, life in which our worthy aspirations will be fulfilled, and let us say, Amen. Skip the next paragraph, we'll go right to the announcement, English, then Hebrew. New month of Mar Cheshvan will begin on Sunday and Monday. It hold blessing for us and for all the people Israel. Rosh Chodesh, Mar Cheshvan, Iye v'yom Rishon, v'yom Sheni, Habaleinu v'yal kol Yisrael letova Yichad shehu ha-kadosh baruch hu Aleinu v'yal kol amu bet Yisrael Lechaim u-shalom, amen L'sason u-lesimcha, amen L'yishua u-nechama, v'nomar, amen Drop in a little melody, the end of the Torah service, 154 in this prayer book for Eitz Chaim, bottom of the page. It is a tree of life to those who hold on to it. Eitz Chaim he lama chazikim ba v'tomecheha me'ushar derecheha darche noam V'chol netivoteha shalom hashivenu Adonai elecha v'nashuva chadesh chadesh yameinu chadesh yameinu Kekedem. 182, first of our concluding prayers is Ein Kelohenu. 182 in this prayer book. Ein Kelohenu, Ein Kadonenu, Ein Kemalkenu, Ein Kemoshienu, Mi Kelohenu, Mi Kadonenu, Mi chemalkeinu, mi chemoshienu. No del Eloheinu, no del Adonainu, no del Emalkeinu, no del Emoshienu. Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adonainu, Baruch Malkeinu.
Malkeinu, Baruch Moshe Einu, Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkeinu, Atahu Moshe Einu, Atahu Shetiru Avo Teinu, Lefanecha et Kitoret Hasamim. 183, top and bottom of Aleinu, also in the transliteration. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'atet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit, shelo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot, velo samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama, shelo samu chalakeinu kohem, v'gor aleinu k'chol hamonam, Anachnu korim, um mishtachavim umodim, lifne melech malache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Skipping down to the bottom. Bene emar vehayadonai, la melech al kol haaretz, vayom hahu, vayom hahu, yye adonai echad. Ushemao, 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 Echad. 184 from Warner's Kaddish. May the faith that binds us to our loved ones, continuing source of comfort, by those in mourning or observing your sight, to praise God with Kaddish minus line 4 on 184. Yit Gadal v'yit Kaddash Shemei Rabbah, v'yalma divrach yirutei, the Yamlich Malchute, the Chayechon, the Yomechon, the Chayed, the Chol Beit Yisrael, the Agala, the Vizman Kari, the Emro, Amen. Yit Barach, the Yishtabach, the Yit Paar, the Yit Romum, the Yit Nase, the Yit Adar, the Yit Tale, the Yit Talal, Shemeda Kudisha, Brichu, La Ela Minkol, Birchata, the Shirata, Tushbechata, the Nechamata, Da Miran vi Alma Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya, the Chaim Alenu, the Alkol Yisrael Vimru Amen. O se shalom vim Ramav, who ya ase shalom. Alenu the Alkol Yisrael Vimru Amen. Hope again you had a good fall holiday season that ended last weekend, and hopefully as the year progresses the Jewish New Year and the end of 2020, we're going to start making some progress toward being able to be back together in the real world, in real spaces. My synagogue is up to 10 people allowed into the sanctuary for Bar and Bat Mitzvahs, and hopefully uh, we'll be even doing better as the year goes on, and as hopefully we have vaccine in however many months it takes before we're able to get properly treated and to stay healthy and to be back together. 187 will conclude with Adon Olam. Adon Olam Asher Molach Veterem Kol Yitzir Nivra Leit Nasa Vechetzo Kol Azai Melech Shemo Nikra Viachare Kichlot HaKol Levado Yimloch Nora Vehu Haya Vehu Hove Vehu Yihye Betifara Behu echad v'yein sheni l'ham shilo l'hach b'ira v'li reishit v'li tachlit v'lo ha'oz v'hamisra v'hu eili v'chai g'wali v'tsuar chavli v'yei tzara v'hu nisi u'manosli m'nat kosi v'yom mekra v'yado of Kid Ruchi, the eight Ishan, the Aira, the Imruchi, give the Oti Adonai, the low Ira. Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom, a good week ahead. God bless with health and well being. Peace, Shabbat Shalom.